Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a mental health update video and I thought that it's perfect to do this video considering it is the start of a new year. I'm going to kind of explain about the past year and how I'm feeling right now and how I think the next year is going to go etc. Please excuse my hair, it is literally just in a side pony like I really do need to wash it. I really wanted to film this video because I do want to incorporate a lot more mental health videos on my channel a lot more anxiety related content on this channel because i know that i do get a lot of messages from people on instagram i get a lot of messages in the comments of previous videos about people's experiences with you know anxiety selective mutism all that kind of thing and i often think you know i'm explaining myself i'm you know saying the same things over and over again to people about how my experiences but then as time goes on i start to realize things and i start to you know put things together and i can give better advice so i'm thinking well why don't i just put this out on my channel why don't i put out um, my thoughts my feelings how i managed to overcome certain things so i am going to be making a video um again this year just explaining my whole kind of story with selective mutism and my whole story again i am going to make that video again because i do know a lot more now and i just want to have kind of a fresh start with that and just you know just make it a little bit more clear and i want to make videos on how i overcame selective mutism what it's like to live with it other people's stories and yeah i really do want to discuss other people's stories as well because that is important you know reading the comments to my videos etc so yeah i want to just make a lot more videos for that how you can help yourself if you've got anxiety and things you know like that so in terms of my mental health right now i'm really good right now i would say from being a child all the way up until a few years ago well quite a few years ago up until about five years ago i really 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 struggled obviously i suffered from selective mutism so it was a real struggle for me but as the years got on my anxiety was get better and better and better and i was recovering you know slowly but surely you know it was getting you know a lot better and i would say last year and that's why i wanted to make this video was because last year that kind of went backwards a little bit and i don't think i don't think my anxiety went backwards but i think just the way that i felt went a little bit backwards and my confidence in myself and my confidence in what i could do kind of you know fell a little bit and i was thinking to myself like you know why am i thinking this or why am i you know being like this and i think it's because i went to uni i was taken out of a routine i was you know put into something completely new meeting new people and all that kind of thing and although i was completely fine with going to uni and i was really good with meeting people and i really enjoyed it it's still taking me out of my usual routine and putting me in you know a life that i've not had before and i was struggling to focus on everything in my life that i wanted to do obviously i wanted to focus on uni but i also wanted to focus on my youtube and my eating healthy my workouts i wanted to focus on just being with friends just getting things done going out you know it's hard to fit everything in so my youtube channel did fall back a little bit and i did kind of put that to the back because i thought well i need to focus on uni first which is completely fair enough and i'm completely fine with that but yeah i just think that i'm the kind of person that if i don't get done things that i want to do personally so if i don't post videos on youtube that i'm happy with or if i don't um, have my schedule or have my routine then I'm just not happy and I suppose I went through last year not being as happy as I usually would I was still very happy like I just wasn't as happy as like previous years and then I moved into this flat and obviously everything was kind of new I'd not lived on my own before obviously I live with Jamie my boyfriend but I hadn't like lived away from home I love it I literally have only been back to my house two nights and that was over christmas i just love it living here and it's not the fact that i'm living here i literally would be happy living anywhere um i just like to have it as my own space and i it's taken me four whole months for me to settle in and what i mean by that is to kind of get myself back into a routine i was thinking like a few weeks ago or even a month ago i was thinking to myself why am i not as motivated as i used to be because i don't think it's in relation to happiness like i am very happy but i think it's more why am i not as motivated to do things or as motivated with everything and i was literally sitting thinking you know what was different 
about me and about my life back then and I literally I was thinking about it and then I thought would you know what back then everything in my life that I did was when I say back then I mean a few years ago it was organized it was planned out it was structured it was there was a list made for every single day I knew what I was going to do every day and I felt accomplished I felt a sense of achievement at the end of every single day and I thought Georgie you've got to change it you've got to get back into how you was because your perspective on life is so much different when you change your ways of life you know you might be a messy untidy person and think that's who you are and that's fair enough but I've been both so I like things to be tidy I like things to be a specific way and that makes me happy and because for those first sort of few months of living here I wasn't like that and I couldn't be like that because of all the stuff I had to kind of get used to that wasn't me and that wasn't me at my you know best I wasn't motivated really and now I've made those changes slowly and for the past month I've been focusing on planning planning is key I make a list every single day um, as to what I need to accomplish the next day and then in the morning I'll wake up write a specific list of what I need to get done throughout the day and it just means that my head is freed from confusion so when you think you've got all this to do or you've got all this going on writing it down putting it in some kind of a list or even just writing down how you feel or what you're doing it just honestly simplifies everything takes it out from your head and puts it onto paper because often you can think you know all of this is going on but when it's actually written down it's so much nicer and I just really like that so I've started to make those changes I also my diet wasn't the greatest and it hasn't been the greatest for over a year and I used to be really on it when it came to eating and doing workouts I used to be very good with it I used to stick to a really um, specific diet and routine. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle, um, a healthy lifestyle. And my workouts were really good and I was doing really good. I had so much motivation, so much energy. And I just haven't had that over the past year. And I just started to think, you know, why? And now I've started to eat a lot healthier. And when you do eat healthier, it does change the way that your head and your mind thinks. You might think I'm not gonna enjoy eating healthily because I don't like the taste. I actually really love eating healthily and it makes you feel good inside like even if I don't enjoy it like sometimes I'll eat an apple I don't enjoy eating the apple I eat it for the benefits that it gives me it makes me feel good it makes me feel like I've got loads of energy and it does genuinely give you energy that you didn't realize you had and when I do my workouts every single day I look forward to doing them I get into a routine I am gonna make a video on my fitness and my workouts etc for those of you that are interested you don't have to watch it and I'm just wanting to kind of I just do it you get into the habit of doing it you look forward to do it and then once you've done your workout you feel motivated and for me I eat healthy and I do workouts for my mental health for the way that it makes me feel not necessarily for the way that you know for weight loss or anything like that it's all about my mind because for me my mind is the most important part you know you can look a certain way or you can be you know your ideal appearance but if your mind is not happy then you're not going to be happy like you've got to look after your mind and that is what I see it as and it just really helps me um, I also make sure that I've got a routine with everything that everything remains quite tidy um, like washing up and everything a tidy place or a tidy room is a tidy mind and that is very true um, keeping everything tidy just means that you've got a nice space to kind of wake up to and you've just got everything nicely organized and it really does benefit you and I think with me the reason why my like I don't know my anxieties or you know my motivation was gone last year was because everything was everywhere I wasn't tidy I wasn't organized and because of that that affected the way that my my mind was my mind wasn't tidy my mind wasn't organized it was everywhere and if your lifestyle is very kind of organized and everything then you will be feeling organized and feeling happy writing lists ticking things off you feel accomplished you feel like you're getting things done like you've got a purpose like you're getting somewhere and that is really good so I would say now I'm really happy right now I I'm very motivated for the new year I am you know sitting down filming this video 
a few months ago I wouldn't film this video because I didn't want to talk about these things because I wasn't feeling like I should because I wasn't feeling my most happiest or my most motivated but now I am I'm looking forward to the next year I wasn't looking forward to things back then and I just feel so much happier and I you know this is personally for me this might not help anybody else but it helps me the reason why I started getting happier is because I started organizing my life and just pushing things together and stop letting things spiraling out of control if you let things get out of control in your life then your mind will suffer from it because you will be thinking about everything without you even realizing it i just can't stress that enough um so yeah i am going to make a video on like how to kind of deal with anxiety and things like that and i'm not just going to talk about write lists things like that i am going to talk about real like proper good points and things and specific things in terms of situations but i just mean in terms of my mental health in general um kind of how i've managed to make myself be myself again because this is me i'm an organized person i like to be organized and that is what makes me happy i remember once i did a video i think it was on my old channel and i literally said organization is key to happiness and that's for me and i just remember watching that back and thinking do you know what i'm right i am right and i was like this was a few months ago i watched that back and i thought you know although that does sound ridiculous to some people you know i'm sure that some people can be happy without being organized and that's fine but for me I thought that is completely right for me if i'm not organized i'm not happy i'll go out in the day and i'm just not my kind of motivated talkative happy self as i would be if everything is organized video because i just wanted to talk about where i'm at now the fact that i'm really motivated for the new year i'm gonna push myself i made my new year's resolutions videos and i really I made my new year's resolution video and i really want to stick to those and push for them because i you know you only have one life so you might as well just push yourself and um you know be the best that you can be and with me just kind of not focusing on my life and not focusing on uni or you know just making everything a mess is just not going to help you if you want to be the person that you want to be then you've got to change something in your life to become that and yeah that's why i'm here um like i said in my resolutions video happiness should become above anything it should come way above anything else your happiness if you're not happy then what the hell is the point in um anything else in life if you're not happy what's the point in earning money if you're not happy what's the point in buying yourself these things because if they're not making you happy then why would you do it um and it's just about trying to find what makes you happy because for me it isn't buying things you know although i'm sure my dad would disagree <laughs> it isn't buying things that makes me happy it isn't going out um or you know drinking it isn't anything like that it is simply getting control of your life so that you've got control of your own life you know who you are you know what you are you can get up in the morning and you can know that you are succeeding at everything that you do whether it be keeping your house tidy whether it be um, keeping on top of your work or just doing things in life you don't have to be this crazy successful person you don't have to go to all these events go to clubs um, go out and do this and that because that isn't me I'm happy to just stay at home what you need to do is be good at everyday life that is what I would say is just boss everyday life and you will be so much happier um so this is just from my point of view i know a lot of people might watch this video and they might think well you know it's a bit easy coming from you just saying just be organized it's easier said than done but i did say that i wanted to make a little bit more content on mental health um so that's what i'm gonna do but yeah if you've got any videos that you want me to do then please leave them down in the comments if you've got any questions etc please ask me and i will answer them in videos or answer them in the comments and i am going to be making probably a video a month or a couple of videos a month on this because it is very important to me but i just wanted to do an update on how i'm feeling and how i've made myself be a little bit more motivated and a little bit happier and if it helps you it helps you if it doesn't help you then i do apologize um but it was just here to kind of so you, you know a little bit about me and that sometimes it isn't always you know amazing and the reason for that isn't 
always really anything just apart from I needed to sort myself out in every sort of aspect of life and I've done that now. Really looking forward to the new year and for getting more videos out there and just really trying and pushing myself and you know hopefully I'll be really happy so I will do another kind of mental health update video in a couple of months or a few months time and just kind of update you on how I'm feeling then and if I'm feeling better or worse or whatever because it is important to talk about this. I know that there's a lot of people I know that struggle with their mental health and for some people that has cost them their life so mental health is extremely important see physical disabilities and you can see somebody struggling physically you can help them but when it comes to mental health you can't always see that and that means that that person's dealing with that on their own and often they can't cope so I think it is important to talk about it to realize it and to see it because obviously I've experienced anxieties and problems in the past and that means I can now look at people and I can see not see through them but I can see me in them how I used to be um so it just means that I've got a little bit more time for people um that are a bit quieter or even not like some people that are so forward and so loud still have insecurities that you can see if you really look into them and the reason why people say and do certain things are because of the way that they feel um, so yeah it's really quite interesting and it's really quite complicated but yeah I just wanted to make this video um, hopefully I haven't offended anybody because I don't want to do that I don't want you to watch this video and think you know shut up um, but anyway so thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to see more content like this because I am gonna be making a lot more Give the video a like if you liked it um, if not then don't like it but do not dislike it um, so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye!